All right, so to find the equation of a hyperbola, well, we've got all this stuff here. Uh, well, let's just get started on the first part of it. Uh, hyperbola is going to be in this form here, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Uh, the foci is plus or minus c, where c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Vertices. Uh, plus or minus a zero and asymptotes y equals plus or minus b over a times x and here's an example of the hyperbola uh, you can see that and I don't know how well you can see this but the point here that's the point negative a zero and this point here is a zero and then you've got the foci out here that's at negative c zero and c zero so you can see when the when the, the x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared you can see that the hyperbola opens left and right okay and then you've got your uh, asymptotes here y equals negative b over ax and y equals b over ax. Well, this is really the same thing, except notice the difference in this one and this one. We've got the y squared comes first, y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared equals 1. So when that's the case, the hyperbola is going to open up and down. And the, uh, the foci is 0 plus or minus c, which are these points here and here and then we have vertices at 0 plus or minus a which is the point here and the point here and the asymptotes y equals plus or minus a over b times x all right and I'll have a bunch of I'll have a bunch of different examples to work they'll each have their own video so you know check them out now the other thing you see these asymptotes cross here well that can uh, that can change alright and the the way that would change is if this is shifted left right up or down okay so the equation for that would be we would have x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Okay. And then the, uh, the other way that it would shift, if, if, if this was written as y minus k squared over a squared and I know I wrote plus up here, that should be minus. That should be x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, so, you know, that just depends on how, where these things intersect. All right, so let's take a look at some examples and see what we've got. All right, we've got another example here for finding the equation of a hyperbola. Uh, this time they tell us the vertices are plus or minus 3, 0, and they give us the equation of the asymptotes, y equals plus or minus 2x. All right, so remember, if you've watched the other videos, remember, let's just sketch what we can. That always, that always helps. 1, 2, 3... One, two, three. So I'll plot the vertices at three zero and negative three zero. So that tells me it's opening like this. Okay. All right. So the next thing I like to do is, well, we know it's centered at zero zero. Okay, it's not shifted left or right or up or down any. So we know the equation, and since it opens left and right, is going to be x squared over a squared minus y squared over 
b squared equals 1. Now remember if this was opening up and down the y squared would be over here be y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared. Okay. All right, but it's opening left and right, so we've got this. Well, right off, you can see we need to find A and we need to find B, and that's it. Well, we already know A. Remember, A, that's the distance from the center here to the vert, for, to a vertice. Okay, so in this problem, we've got A is equal to 3. Well, now all we need to do is find B. Well, the asymptote, remember the asymptote is Y equals plus or minus B over A times X. So if we, so we know that the B over A, well, A is 3. So B over 3, can we just replace the A with a 3, that is this part right here is equal to 2. So this equals 2 and now we just solve for B so this tells us that B is equal to 6 and now we've got 3 and we've got 6 we just plug them in so we get X squared over A squared well A is 3 so that's going to 3 squared is 9 minus y squared over and then b squared well b is 6 so 6 squared is 36 and that equals 1 and there's your answer so that's a pretty easy one not too bad so check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching